Hi again, this is a linear relationships video and this uh, in this video we're looking at the line equation format of y equals mx plus b in a bit more detail. y equals mx plus b. Now a straight line can be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now the y and the x tend to stay y and x here but the m and the b will be numbers so it might be y equals 3x plus 2 or whatever but we'll see an example later on. But when a line is in this format we can learn a lot about the nature of the line uh, how steep it is, uh, where it cuts across the y-axis and things like that. So uh, b is the y-intercept. So um, the number that's tacked on the end there is where, that, that'll indicate where the line crosses the y-axis. So uh, also with, from this format, y equals mx plus b, the m tells us about the gradient or the slope of the line, particularly when it's in fraction form. So when m is in fraction form, m tells us, the number in front of the x there, tells us how much the line rises compared to how much it runs. So how far up you go the to, the, uh, to meet the line and how far across you have to go. Now if uh, m is a whole number, such as a 5, we turn it into fraction form by putting that whole number over 1 so that we've got a bit of a rise and a run to go from there. So when m is positive, when that number in front of the x is positive, we know that the line leans to the right. Um, so that happens all the time, we can trust that. And we also say in that situation, when m is a positive number, that the line is increasing. So we can trust that. Now, uh, conversely, when the m is negative, when the number in front of the x in this format of a line is negative, we know that the line leans to the left and we'd say that the line is decreasing in that situation. So that's just the way around that uh, format. Now it's probably uh, a bit hard to understand just in that form, but we'll see a couple of good examples and then we sh should be able to get the hang of that from from those examples. Let's have a look. I'll just run through briefly what we just got through, saying that B is the y-intercept, uh, M, M is the gradient or the slope of the line, it tells us uh, the rise over run of the line, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we're talking about there in a moment. When M is positive, the line leans to the right, and when M is negative, the line leans to the left. Let's have a look at some examples with real numbers in them, rather than just letters. Okay, you can see that uh, from just uh, that example here that we're talking about an m value of 2 and a b value of minus 1. Okay, so they're just the numbers in the right spots there. So that's called the constant, that number that's tacked on the end. Uh, not just that digit, but we'd say the constant in this equation here, this line equation, is minus 1. Now it's called a constant because there's no x's in that uh, value there. It's always minus 1, so it's got a constant value really. And uh, the other bit is the number in front of the x is called the coefficient of x. It's just a technical mathematical term for a number that's in front of a letter there, the coefficient of x. Now they tell us different things here. The constant, that uh, minus 1, tells us the y-intercept. It's uh, we, we know from that number being a minus 1 that the line that uh, is described by this rule meets the y-axis at minus 1. So that's a good clue uh, about the line. Now this other number, the coefficient of x there, is the gradient or the slope of the line and particularly when we're in fraction form. So if this number is a 2, we could write it as 2 over 1, because a whole number can be written in fraction form over 1. That tells us that, that uh, there's a rise of 2 for every 1 that we go across. So that's a fairly steep line. It rises twice as much as it runs, this line here. And also, um, the fact that this is a positive 2, there's no negative in front of the 2 there, this is a positive number, so we know from that that the line leans to the right. So just from uh, seeing the rule that this uh, line follows, this linear equation here, uh, we can tell a lot about um, what this line looks like. In this case, uh, in this format here, we have an M this time, of minus three quarters and a b of plus two. So let's have a look at what we can learn from just that. That's called the constant, that's called the coefficient. We'd say the coefficient of x there is minus three quarters. And the constant of that equation is two. Sometimes you get questions on that. And this is the y-intercept. We know that this line crosses the y-axis at two. And this 
is the gradient, this minus 3 quarters. Now, let's ignore the minus for now and just concentrate on the 3 quarters. I know it's got a negative in front of it there, but let's ignore that for now. Uh, the gradient of this slope, it has a rise of 3 for every 4 that it goes across. So it's a bit flatter, this one here. And now we'll think about whether this is a positive or negative number. This is a negative uh, gradient. It's got a, a negative value for m. So this line would lean to the left if we plotted it on a number plane. So lots of things to learn from this format of a line. y equals some number in front of x plus uh, our b there. That, uh, that m number is pretty crucial, the number that's in front of the x there. That tells us how steep the line is, the relationship between rise and run, particularly when it's in fraction form. And if that uh, number in front of the x is a positive, we know that the line leans to the right and we could call it increasing. And if it leans to the left, it would be called decreasing. So that's a little bit more about y equals mx plus b. We will use y equals mx plus b in the next video uh, to sketch a line, but that's, uh, that's how to interpret lots of facts from a line just from its rule or its linear equation. Thanks for listening. That's a building block for the next time, and there's lots of great videos to watch and re-watch um, at peterblakemaths.com. See you next time for some more on lines, particularly about the equation of a line y equals mx plus b and how we might use it.